Hi, I'm Shannon Smith. I'm the Manager of Communications and Development at Frack Tracker Alliance, and welcome to the 2021 edition of Frack Tracker in the Field. Last year, many of you joined us as we traveled throughout the Ohio River Valley region, creating a live digital map throughout the day of oil and gas and petrochemical facilities along the Ohio River from Pennsylvania down into Ohio and finally West Virginia. This year, we're gonna be hitting up three states that border the Great Lakes. We're going to New York, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. And we have different teams out in the field getting ready to share videos on topics like Bitcoin mining, liquefied natural gas, abandoned oil and gas wells, pipelines, the petrochemical industry, frac sand mining, and the environmental justice implications of the oil and gas industry at large. And that's not even a comprehensive list, so we hope you'll follow along throughout the day as we post about all of these sites and video updates. And we're doing this because we believe that access to information, access to reliable information is really important for inspiring meaningful action. And in an era where environmental injustice plagues so many of our communities and the devastation of the climate crisis continues to accelerate every day. Um, it's more important than ever that we support each other by sharing knowledge and resources. So at Frack Tracker, uh, we provide hundreds of articles and maps and data sets to organizations around the country. We also offer a mobile app where you can document um, oil and gas sites of concern in your area. And recently we published a new imagery platform where we have thousands of aerial photos of oil and gas operations that you can access there for free to use in your own environmental advocacy work. Um, so you can access all of these resources at fracktracker.org and that's where you can also donate if you want to support our work. We really appreciate it. And today we're going to be making shout outs to many other amazing organizations that are on the ground working on the issues we're going to cover today. And if we've missed anybody, please do let us know. Um, we also wanna send our love to our brothers and sisters and siblings in Louisiana and the Gulf Coast region, where almost 600 sites with toxic chemicals lie in the path of Hurricane Ida in the industrial corridor, where there are several notable huge petrochemical sites that groups like Rye St. James have been fighting for years. And it's just unspeakably evil that the petrochemical industry, which is responsible for accelerating the climate crisis, now has their eyes set on the Ohio River Valley due to the risks associated with extreme weather events like Hurricane Ida. So we're going to list some mutual aid groups in Louisiana. Um, in our story map, you can scroll down to the end at any point today and support as you're able. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. I think we're going to start in some sites in New York before we head to Pennsylvania. We'll move to Michigan, back to Pennsylvania to wrap up the day. Thank you so much and solidarity forever.